it's really rewarding to come from sketch all the way to an actual living, breathing, movable animal. It sounds kind of funny when we talk about, you know, an elephant skin or a gorilla face or like a big T-Rex to a, a Pachys, Pachycephalosaurus. Every time we have to take a package to the UPS store and ship it off and they ask what's in it, you say, well, we're sending two crocodile eyeballs. And uh, they're going, what are you talking about? Rainforest Cafe or T-Rex, they come up with an idea and we have to do the concept sketches. We'll sit down and figure out what we can make these animals do to make them look good on the stage. They want it to kind of tell a story, so we take a mom and a baby and kind of design how that would look together, and then you sculpt the, the mom and the baby separate and all the different pieces. Everything we do is very labor intensive. There, we have more labor involved with most of our projects than we do materials. The fiberglass shell is brought to the mechanical department, and that's where they kind of figure out how you're going to take the cylinders and make the eyelids move and how to make the mouth move and how to put all those cylinders and mechanics together in a small space where it all fits and it looks right and it moves right. We have to make sure that we have enough slack in the fur in certain places to allow for all the movements. I mean, then it comes to us and we put the skin on and paint it and punch all the hair in it. And then we'll all get together and decide what kind of movement we want to put in, how much action we're going to put into it, and then just work the mechanisms based on what we come up with and see if we can get to that point. The one thing that we really have to work with is making sure that it, it works every day. We kind of help direct uh, the clients as well in, in getting what they want for their show. Tell them, you know, you don't want it to snarl too much because you're going to scare the kids. You get attached to them, especially those, the ones that are more difficult to finally get it to where you want it. When we finally had to ship it, it was like you were saying goodbye to one of your kids.